if you like to just cut a hairs off, that's easy to do. But if you make a design it, try to accomplish it, that's a different story. Yes, haircut has so many elements you have to understand. And the first body position and foot position, very important haircutting element. And also hand angle, over directing, or straight up from the scalp. But in a hand angle is a different way to do it. Also, your hand is self the parallel to the scalp, but your finger angle will change it to make a style. Then also tapering in a lot of place, set on place, and some place no tapering. If you accomplish it, you'll be a very good haircut. Just like a Susie before, and a Susie the after. I know many people study YouTube. If you like a rent a YouTube video from mine, go to the YouTube uh, video. They will give it to you 99 cent in a whole month to you can look at it. And if you like to be purchase the DVD, we have a two DVD one, DVD two. They have a five different hair cutting available to you. Also, my special one is uh, body motion and hand exercise. Susie told me she says she don't like to cut the links off. That's a very difficult the hairstylist. We are cut the hair to make a style to it. But she, as you see, she has a lot of hair aside and a very thick hair. We like to accomplish it. A lot of tapering, front of the back of the ear, a lot of taper. To blend it in, in back of the head, then we do the inside out, then different technique to make a hairstyle. She has a wonderful hair, but the conditioning hair is not so great. So we put in a treat, special treatment for the salon we do and make sure hair become very healthy. If you do that, give a lot of compliment for the my haircut. If you know your hair design, your body position and the placement of your feet is very important. We call this one 10 o'clock position. Last section is very important. Make sure thin area and the right on the temple area. Pull the hair, that do not cut outline. We don't want to cut the outline at all. Look at my hand, hold the same section, keep going up and I drop off the excess hair. Second section, right on up the side band area, bring the hair towards you, the drop off the outline, make sure do not cut it. Also, do not leave your guideline. Just keep going up towards the uh, front of the head, then stay there, same position, then keep cutting. Now you see the nice tapering in the second section too. Next section, right in front of the ear, we bring down the same way as section it, bring down there. Make sure drop off the uh, outline the hair, but do not drop off the section of the hair. Many people just cut the hair, they drop off the whole section. No, hold the section, drop off the bottom of the hair. They look at my hand angle, keep it going up and a short side. Remain stay same way and make sure you drop the hair just like that. Now number four, above the ear. Same block, push back the hair and backward, bring towards me and drop off the outline, make sure. Then keep cutting in the same position. You don't still not move any place. Just keep like this, bring to the uh, back of the head and the same front line. Eventually you can cut a hair, just give a nice tape at the front of the ear. Now come to behind the ear, the broke the hair, push the exit hair out, bring toward your same position and a checked out line. Then if you keep going up, you see it, a lot of hairs drop off. Then keep checking the haircut. This way, you could get a very nice taper. Now, behind the ear, the connection to the back of the hair to cut. Same way, just a vertical tapering, and then bring the all hair towards you. As you see, a lot of hair, each time fingers go up, hair to drop off. Back of the head outline, we don't cut it. Just leave it like this. Just blend it in front of hair this time. Now we are finished, we're going to bring in the back of the head to the branded in the side of the head. As you see it, 
we stay the same position I'm leaning backward the top of the body to check the haircut what to see how much haircut I could be done then bring towards right in front of you so you don't you can't cut any hair in the bottom so do not move the foot and the boy position finish the outline now many people they try to cut hair just like this move to sideways to look at the uh, back of the head then you try to cut it they're too close so usually cutting off too short we have the little bit higher section to make it uh, to make it a tapering this time at the bottom of the outline the much more thinner so we have to be pick them up a little section then bring it way up the hand to make sure to drop off the bottom of the hair line Out, outline we don't want to cut it then make sure handle the parallel to the head just diagram showing side tapering is above the outline section so make sure protect that section way up but the hand angle should be in the uh, shorter to longer then also keep dropping in the outline here don't cut that section then it became a two tapering number 10 side of tapering the same way you have to be drop off the bottom of the outline section don't cut that one but you have to cut a little bit blending in you have to cut the shorter so make sure drop of enough here, then it excess here you could cutting off. Continue to cut above the, the same way. Hold the section, pull the way up, and excess here. And you have to drop off the bottom of the line. Excess here, just keep cutting. As you see, lots of outline here is coming off. Now, behind the ear, this is the last section. You pull straight out to cut the excess hairs out. Make sure pull the hairs out, same the section, drop off the lower hairs out, then keep cutting off the whole thing to see how's, uh, how's the whole tapering coming out. As you see, and we tapered it front of, to the behind the ear. There's so much tapering, we could do it. We don't cut the length off, but uh, lots of taper. Now we're gonna make a, a behind the ear to blend it in. This time we make a new session. Do not thinking about it front to the back. Just make sure don't cut the bottom of the hair to bring toward you to cut the hair. Make sure drop off the lot of front of the hair and bend the ha hair handle like this. Okay, that's a diagram showing. Then keep cutting. Don't pull straight up. Just bring toward you, always. They bend the finger very much just like that when you're gonna do the back of the head make sure more bring hair towards you make sure hand is really bended against it then keep cutting you see for the, this hair cutting you notice something different each time you're cutting hair I'm going up at the top of the head so obviously I'm dropping off the outline so this way, I make it a nice taper all the way. So don't worry about it. As long as you don't move, you're safe. If you move the foot towards backwards, then you got a problem. You keep cutting different lengths. Make sure, make sure you can see the foot the way you're picking up and uh, bring back the hair to original line, whatever you like to cut. Then should be done very nice uh, taper the top to bottom. Uh, we're gonna cutting here uh, front bang, left to the right, short to the longer. You have to pick the very small section to make sure hand angle it a proper way to do it. Then hold the guide line, do not let it go. Then keep it the guide line, bring in the top of the hair to towards that guide line. Guide line became much thicker, you could see what are you doing there now keep cutting then you want to keep uh, remain for the right side is much longer then don't cut for the right hand side for the hair just leave it there just keep cutting now when it became uh, too long on the right hand side we have to move the body 
hold the hair first and then move the body to the left side. Stand up more like a pillow. But actually not moving the foot is just foot to the tilted the toes to the 11 o'clock. So your body became a 10 o'clock position to 11 o'clock. Foot became more like a pillow. Now you cut the hair. Left side shorter and the right side longer. Make sure to check your bang area. Make bring to the towards the left side. That way, it's right side always is longer. Then you could see it nicely blending in left to the right. Now we have a top of the hair to more tapering. First, we do it in a vertical position to behind the ear. Now after the behind the ear. I'll pull toward you and then also bend the hair just like before we did. Now we can do the whole head one time. Let's go to the divided half the head. We make a top of the hair, the half left to the right. Then push the all necessary hair to the side away and push, pick, pick up the little small section. The non necessary hair I push all the way the back to pick up the a uh, small section right on the front of you. Now up to here, you come up about a full section already done. Now, we pick up a hair, you see the, for the little hole there. Many people doesn't grow here. Then you have to make an imaginary line to cut, make a line. Make sure connected. That's what very important. First line is a vital important in any haircut. Make sure to take a time Everything is okay. You see this much in the hole there. They recognize what's going on in the right in front of the high hair. Top of the head. You know that this couple of place, you have the hand have to straight up. Make sure your finger have to be pick up the left hand side. Just like a picture sh showing you. Straight up and fingers have to angle it. Then keep cutting in the first section and the second section. Hand is straight up, your hand is parallel to the head, but your finger is very much bending to the pick up of the left hand side of the hair, just like this. Okay? Then keep cutting up to, I told you, behind the ear. So if you got excess hair there, uh, do not worry about it. Just keep cutting. Have a confidence. You're doing okay. If you worry about it, you just look at it, they go through once in a while. But it's not necessary to do it. Now you come to the above the behind the ear. This is the last part, the last section to do straight out to cut the all excess hairs out. Keep cutting there, they get the confidence. I told you do not cut the bottom of the hair. You'll be wonderful and tapering coming up. Let's go check it out what's going on there. Just finish haircut, you can't tell how much you uh, tapering. Let's apply the water for her. Very sexy girl. <laughs> yeah, even you have to laugh at That's it. right. Now, behind the ear, we don't want to be any more tapering too much. So, what do we do? Same as before. We bring it all back of the head towards me and make sure bend the finger, turn around. That way make your hair to short or longer. Now you see the cutting hair. First I pick up the hair. I drop off the uh, outline. Then keep it going up the same spot. I keep going up. Same section of the hair. Keep moving up and also just checking up the previous haircut how we did it, connection or not. Then pick them up all back of the head. As you see, I still same position. Don't move any place. Then bend it up backward to pick up a, where we picking up the hair. Bring it all the hair towards me. Yeah, many people think I'm not sectioning too much, but that's not true. I always section it, but the only difference is I don't take off the section the hair I keep remain same way let me see how they come up with this tapering always the back as I first plan and uh, top of the hair is very heavy 
bottom is a very taper but I didn't cutting off hardly any length now we're gonna do the right side the top of the head from I will do the left side to cut the hair left side to the uh, all the way blending in the right side the top of the head that's what I gonna do it that's a little crosser <laughs> Okay. I think I should do splaying class for you. All right. How to splay properly <laughs> on the hair. Okay. Push your hair to the always the back to make sure everything push back and then very small section, I first section that I pick her up. Then we will bring it in to the left side to the right side of the head to make sure bring it in. As you know, hand have to be straight up to the forehead. And then, uh, as you notice, finger angle is uh, really steep to the left side. The remaining uh, cutting here. So keep it up like this. Make sure comb is really attached to the finger. Do not to take off the comb too quick. Make sure the comb is really push to the hair angle. Then that way, you don't make too much mistake. Keep straight up to the vertical, make sure maximum taper you could get it, but yet do not cut the previous line. Each time you do that, drop off to the make sure going back to the right side. The butt. Make sure do not to scare the excess hair coming up. Now behind the ear, as you notice, if you do that, now you're gonna pull towards you over directing your uh, the top of the hair toward you but this time one more thing is uh, careful try not to blend it in the front or back make a new line I will explain to the why make sure hand bandage just like a, a diagram showing keep cutting that way now this time most important is do not to pick up and underneath the scalp side the hair, just like the diagram showing. It, you have to separate it that top to bottom. Otherwise, you're cutting everything too short. This is very important. Uh, if you get it, make sure push down and the top of the hair to the underneath. And uh, don't worry about it for the uh, blending hair. Now finalize it, you pick up all the hair back towards you. Now you see it and uh, pretty soon you don't have the cutting hair at all. That will be accomplished the whole thing. Just check, sh make sure everything is okay. This diagram shows the one to five that to start the outline to the old tapering. Uh, as you notice, I do the front to the behind the ear. I every place the top of the head, the left side, uh, right side and uh, uh, vertical Rift it. Then make sure hand angle to make sure blend it in. The maximum tapering I do, but not yet. I didn't cut the bottom line. Now see what happens if you do this. Just like this, the tapering in the front to the back. When you check the haircut, top of the hair, you see the front of the ear, the back of the ear. That section to look at it. You see it very little fuzz there. You check again. See the hardly nothing less. Yeah, that's what you bring it in. That's why I told you don't worry about it. And after that, that time in the front of the back. Automatically bring it in at a very steep angle to do it. That's a very difficult. You don't pull the hair toward you. To stay the same position. If you move it, it doesn't work this way. Now check the back side of the hair and what they do. We check up, look at this. Side of the same way behind the ear to front of the ear. See the, how much steep angle you could get it? If you try to make it like this, just pull sideways, whatever you try to do it, it never make it this clearly. So this is the way to cut the hair. Now you see that for the left hand side, how much taper you got. Just like this. A lot of taper and uh, nothing cutting the length back. Cup, 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 yeah. Now she taking a coffee break. Let's go have a review, shall we? First, we have to know the foot position is very important. This time, I hardly ever move the 10 o'clock position. Then, uh, outline cut. 
and they make sure don't cut the outline the bottom because she don't want it for the remember she don't want to cut the hair at all lengthwise now for the cut the uh, bang area you don't want to cut the left side right side much longer you have to turn around then always you pull straight up the hair after the behind the ear then after that pull forward okay pull forward over directing that's the main key then everything else and uh, same way then you go to the left hand side all the way now with the way up the hand and straight up to the make sure left to the right to the blend it in so as you see it's no problem to blend it in cutting here this way today's only finish the left side only man it takes so long time that's what the haircut is i'll see you part two or part three for the suit to finish